Hello Virgo, this is Guiding Halo. This will be your reading for March for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I hope it works for you. Let's see if it resonates with any of you guys. Please also feel free to leave a message. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. I'd like to hear about that. Thank you. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Yeah, it says, don't give up. It's almost here. One more battle left, guys. Perhaps this is with a soulmate or somebody from your past. Maybe someone you've had children with. Perhaps there's a battle of some sort going on there. Yep, it's taken a lot of incredible work. I gotta say, you've definitely been striving and struggling with that. Working hard on it anyways. But go inward and ask divine for help or seek professional advice maybe from a lawyer or a counselor or even your doctor perhaps that's what you guys need to do let's see what the next one is it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life i am watching over you guiding you and protecting you during these ch changes divine always has our back Sometimes we forget and we think that we're in life alone, but we're not. Yep, unable or unwilling to make a decision. I think you know what's best and I think you know what you've got to do, but she sits here with her arms crossing herself, guarding her heart, perhaps. You know what you got to do, Virgo. Yep, the divine is involved, definitely. The divine's made a judgment call on this already. Whatever it is, decision you need to make, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. So perhaps maybe you need to let go of something before you can do that. You're all up in your head about it anyways. Maybe it's a new business endeavor. Maybe it's a love thing, which I don't see a lot here about love, although I do see a soulmate in this scenario. Let's continue on, see what we get. No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Hmm. So what decision are you trying to make that's not favorable right now to go forward? Yeah, the divine is definitely working on it behind the scenes. See, it says to have patience. There's lots going on behind the scenes in your favor, you guys. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're taking a pause and looking at everything you've done so far. Seeing if it's good enough. Seeing if you need to do more. Oh, perhaps this involves a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you're embodying this energy right now. Let's get some clarity on this soulmate scenario that you're confused about. It's taken a lot of work. You're at the nine of wands. Usually things end at the 10, but they also say that nine is an ending because 10 is actually truly the beginning. So what soulmate are you letting go of, Virgos? Or are you confused about? It's been a lot of work, that's for sure. What scenario are you letting go of, whether it has to do with children or otherwise? Well, messages are coming in towards you. Either about a three-party situation or a celebration. It's about commitment. Perhaps you're going to end up committing yourself to a relationship, a soulmate, and perhaps it's someone you didn't think about beforehand. Yeah, definitely. We got the lovers here. This is a decision about love. You're definitely working on a decision about love, that's for sure. See if we can get a... You are going to get messages in, though, that will cause you to celebrate, perhaps, about commitment. Yeah, stand up for what you want, but it's very possible you've also been guarding your heart because maybe you're not sure what this other person wants. 
Oh, look at that. The sun is here. The sun is the happiness card. This person makes you feel like a kid again. Life makes you feel like a kid again. Things are enjoyable. You will have clarity on this situation. That is definitely a absolute. When the sun card comes out, it's the happiest card in the deck. It's there to show you that Divine Source has your back in many, many ways. Look at that. Divine Source is taking care of this love connection. Do not fret. Whatever you've been going through in this scenario, the sun is coming. That is so exciting because, man, couldn't we all use happiness and love? Let's see what this is about giving birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes what changes are you all stuck up in your head about perhaps it's love changes perhaps it's a creative idea you have that you'd like to start you're not sure what to do divine source needs you to do it or not let's find out oh the empress this is person about giving birth huh, let's talk about that this woman's pregnant in this card she gives birth to new ideas. She doesn't have to worry about it, though. She's an empress. Divine Source has this all figured out. Yep. Oh, it's going to make you very happy when you step past that line of fear, if that's what you're dealing with. It's a good time to give birth to these ideas, you guys. Oh, and look at that. Waiting for your ships to come in. You're definitely manifesting this. This is beautiful. Well done, Virgos. Wow, nice reading. Look at that. Ships coming in. The sun card in relationships. Wow. Nine of cups. Transformation. This, whatever this is where work is concerned here, these creative ideas is going to transform your life. Yes, it is. Perhaps you've had something happen that has forced you into transforming your life. You know, if you don't make that judgment call, this two of swords here is about being unwilling to make that call, judgment call as well. Source will make that judgment call for you, which will bring you stress and trauma. But look at the beauty that's about to come through this transformation. Give birth to new ideas. Your wish will be granted. Look at that. That's beautiful. Nine of cups. Well done. You're manifesting this. You're waiting for your ships to come in. This is beautiful, Virgo. You guys, you never fail to, to amaze me. You always put in the work and the time and the effort. Yeah, you do. Let's see what this situation with the King of Cups concerned. Conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait to look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Source, what is this King of Cups regarding our Virgo here? Uh, you want equal reciprocity, or this King of Cups does, but the Divine is working on the heart of this person. You've put in the work. This person knows you've put in the work, too. Perhaps there's fear involved. Perhaps there's concern about... Oh, I'm expecting a Seven of Swords to come out here somewhere. If not, it's just fear about money. Perhaps it's fear that they think they give everything and you give nothing in return. This could be an ego issue. Someone could be up on their high horse about it. Either that or you could have victory over the scenario. Being that the divine is involved, I would say that someone has been up on their high horse about it, but the divine is going to turn this into a victory for you. Yeah, I think a lot of Virgos are coming up as the Queen of Wands lately. Either that or you have a Aries Leo Sagittarius in your life that is actually going to help you with this victory. Or this victory will actually lead you to that. Huh, let's see what the outcome here is. Oh, wish granted, healing. The star has come out, guys. This is so exciting. Look at that. All of this hard work you're doing, choices brings out the sun and clarity. Stand up. Don't stop standing up for what you want. Keep doing that. That's beautiful. That's what Source wants of you right now. It's hard. It's hard to take that stand sometimes, but you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost to the Ten of Wands. Take a deep breath and head on in. Have faith. Have trust. This is beautiful reading, you guys. Look at that. And giving birth to new ideas. Source had to come in, obviously, to transform something in your life for you. Perhaps you weren't making the decision for yourself. 
And here we have the love relationship again. Conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help and guide and comfort you. So there's been hurt over this, that's for sure. Perhaps, Virgo, you've been feeling hurt over this scenario with this King of Cups. But this Queen of Wands is coming in to give you guidance. Either that or you are the Queen of Wands. You need to connect with the Divine. This is all divinely guided. Look at this. We have the Divine in every situation in your life so far. And these choices you had to make about love and commitment, the Divine is here. And this creative endeavor, the Divine is here. You are protected. Virgos, you are protected by the Divine. It's like every situation you are in. The divine has your back 100% and entirely. Why? Because you've done the work and you're waiting for your ships to come in. What a beautiful reading. I'm so excited. And even in this, look, the divine has your back here with the temperance card. This is amazing. Let's continue further. I'm excited to see what comes up. Oh, here we go. We have the page of water. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Well, we know that you Virgo is born into this paradigm in this lifetime have a direct connection to the divine it's not surprising to me that you are divinely connected especially when you've been doing the work and putting in the time walking away from emotional hardship huh have you walked away from somebody it says that maybe someone's going to come in but perhaps you won't see it as a valid option and walk away yeah you're ending a cycle you're ending a cycle this is this is something that's hurt you very much. And when this comes in, you may be like, no, you know what? I'm too hurt. I can't do it. I'm, I'm an aching unit. My heart, I've been stabbed in the back too much. It'll all turn out the same. But we have the two of cups here. So there is love here. We have the page of cups. We have the two of cups. Someone's coming in to say they're sorry. It's up to you whether you accept that apology, guys. It's totally up to you. Looks like you've been through a lot here, but the divine has your back. Oh, yet again, and look at this circumstance here again. We have the divine. Sources all over your life. Oh, you don't ha I don't even think you really truly have to do much. I mean, we all have choices we have to make, but the divine is like got you protected in ways it's not even like, wow. Yeah, it's been a battle for you. It's been a rough road, but you're putting down those swords now. It's like, you know what? It's over. It's done. I'm finishing this cycle. I don't want any more heartache. I am tired of the hurt. Yeah, you're going to focus on yourself, but we do have the Ace of Cups. This could also be about a very big love offer that you don't see as valid or you're all stuck in the past or stuck in your head about what's happened in the past, but there is definitely love here. Go within, Virgo. This is your card. This is definitely going to resonate with somebody big time. Go within, you know, see what you need to do. And then when you get through this phase, do source a favor and tell people how you got through it so that your wounds can become their guiding light in their lantern. Let's go over to this side. The King of Water. Oh, we have him showing up twice in your reading, Virgos. Wow. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, heartfelt advice and charity work. Well, us Virgos, are, we're all about helping the underdog, aren't we? Problem is with that, sometimes we feel like we can bring somebody to a place and we can help them or heal them or whatever, but if it's not our time to do so, it's not our time to do so. In fact, it may not be our job. Perhaps Source has got to deal with them in some other way. But this King of Water is a loving man. Or woman if it's a queen but right here it says king you guys can switch this up how it resonates for you trustworthy compassionate respected and cultured oh the wheel of fortune is here in this scenario Woo! wow Hoofty. guys so fortune is coming your way karmic stuff is gonna be you know turning in your favor whatever's going on here this could also be money but I see it as water with this with, uh, I see it as emotion with this King of Cups. And here we have the Ten of Cups, which is the end of a cycle. This is happiness in your home life, happiness in everything. Perhaps that's what you want. Divine Source knows it. Look at that. You've done the work. Divine is in every situation in your life. Every situation. This Wheel of Fortune shows the Divine is here to make this happen for you. This is beautiful. 
Oh, and a passionate new offer. Ace of Wands. This could be someone coming back from the past as well because we have this soulmate card here. There's been death and transformation that's happened or is going on right now. You guys have nothing to fear in this scenario. Let me tell you, sources all over it. All right, let's have a couple of cards of clarification for here and I'll pull you one final angel card. Oh, perhaps you're dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer. Perhaps someone was in your life and just wanted a sexual relationship or a friends with benefits type scenario, but nope, you're not about that. I see right up front here, you're about commitment all of the way. Things are unclear to you right now, but source is all over it. So have trust, have faith, and don't ever forget who it is that walks beside you every day. Oh yeah. The tower is coming. Let's see what the tower has got for us here. Hmm. It's about devil energy. It's about dealing in your shadow side. Maybe it's about being honest about your shadow side, Virgo. This is also the card that is very spiritual. Perhaps you guys are coming into new psychic gifts, or perhaps this king of water is having an awakening about his compulsions or his shadow side and understanding that all of those parts of him are necessary in order to be the best version of himself he can be he just needs to find balance within them all the page of swords this king of water is watching you yes he is pisces or cancer if it's a if it's a or a scorpio i have scorpio here too it can be any of them uh he's watching you guys look at that we got the page of swords Perhaps he heard some news online or found something out somehow that he didn't like. Or perhaps he's got something he has to tell you he thinks is going to change the whole scenario. And he's afraid of that. That's very possible you'll be single for a while. Very possible. While divine works on this whole scenario. I actually think this is the divine telling you to hold back and to wait and let the divine work on your favor because obviously you've done everything you can do you're waiting for your ships to come in what more is there you can do in the scenario just don't build yourself into a gilded cage and make it so that uh, nothing comes in for you don't let the past you know stop you up from a beautiful future virgos right perhaps this is a new king of water coming in perhaps this is somebody who You've known in the past who maybe you've had a relationship with, I'd say over the last nine months, nine weeks, nine years. Could be any of them. Let's see what Source has to say. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Oh, yes, you do. Of course you do. It's one of the things us Virgos love, but sometimes we take on energy of our shadow selves as well. And we don't, you know, we don't stand in our truth and in our power. Yeah, you've had a lot of heartache. I think it's affected the way you feel about yourself. Confidence. We've got to step up to that line of fear, guys, which is learned confidence. Stepping past that line of fear is earned confidence. Understand that divine is all over this, all over it. And that you don't have to worry. The divine has got your back. I view this king of wands as definitely sometimes a uh, energy of, of a twin flame. Perhaps it's somebody that's hurt you very much. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could have those things very strongly in his chart. If not in the sun sign, it would be uh, rising moon, Venus, and even Mars. We got a couple here. We got the queen of wands and the king of wands dealing with this scenario. We got Virgo. We got Scorpio. Oof, wow, we got lots going on. One more card, please. Yep, use your intuition. Yep, this is an energy of the gatekeeper between the shadow side and the light side. You definitely have a divine, a definite connection to the divine. 
That's very impressive. Virgo, this is a beautiful reading. There's so much that's coming out in your life that is going to bring the Sun card, transformation. Look at that, the Nine of Cups right underneath. That Nine of Cups is going to transform your life once you do these creative endeavors. Source wants you to. Perhaps Source is holding this person off until you actually do those creative endeavors. Look at this, the star card. Healing is here. You've wished upon a star at some point. The divine is in each situation in your life. This is beautiful. You are so protected. Well done, Virgos. I'm very proud of you guys. You've done the work. You've stuck in there. Yeah, very good. Very well done. I hope this resonates with someone. Blessings, love, and light.